Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see isometric, copying isometric. We need to copy this diagram. If you see length is 80, height is 24, plus 30, plus 24, 78, and width is 70. So first we'll draw layout, and then we'll start with this part. Now if you see this height is how much? 24. So I will take 24. Then I will take this line behind. Now if you see this part, 14, 42, 14. So I will mark 14, 14 on both the sides. Then I will go up by 10. This is 24. So this height is 10. So we are done with this part. Now this one 80 minus 48. So it is 32. So 16, 16 on both the sides. So I will take 16, 16 on both the sides and then I'll go up. Up by how much? 30 plus 24. So this one is 16, 16 on both the sides. The lower one is full dark. From here I can mark 48. Because we need to draw a rhombus. Diameter is 48. Radius 24. We can mark longest diagonal. We can mark midpoint 24. Same way here also we can mark midpoint. and join to the opposite corner now from this point 1 this 2 3 and 4 so we can take 1 to that midpoint and we can draw arc three to that point midpoint and draw an arc so we'll get the front portion. Now if you see the same portion has a width 12 mm. So I can take 12 mm behind. So take 0.3 behind by 12 mm, 3 dash, 1 behind by 12 mm, 1 dash. So I'm just taking that box, entire box behind. It should go behind by 70. So we can draw like this. And we know that width is 12 mm. Take this radius. Go behind by 12. And draw arc then take 3 to M 3 dash again draw an arc now after this This is tangent. We can draw that circle. See, we can take it behind directly, or we can draw again 12 mm from here. We can draw box. So, drawing box would be easier. However, if you want to go behind by that much distance, you can go behind by that much distance also, or you 
simply draw that box again again take 48 this is one again longest diagonal same method how we generally draw a circle with four center method This is 3, 2, and 4. Now again, 1 to M, that midpoint, and you draw arc. 3 to M. Over here, M stands for midpoint. So we are done with this part. Now again, we need to go behind by how much? 12. I'm drawing the behind portion, this lines. Now we need to draw this circle. So we'll take this point 1 behind by 12, 3 behind by 12, and you draw a tangent. This is 12 mm. Here also it is 12 mm. E1 to M, draw arc from one dash, again draw an arc. Again, 3 to this distance from 3 dash, you can cut an arc. So we are done with this circular part. Now we need to draw two circles of diameter 20. For that what we need to do, we need to find out center see what we will do we will find out midpoint midpoint this is the center point and from there okay I will do the behind one as well see this you draw a vertical line and find out the center point after that you go up by 10 down by 10 again left and right 10 10 by this way what will happen you will get a rhombus You draw a vertical line and parallel line like this. So we'll get a rhombus. Same rhombus is behind also. So then again we'll follow the four center method and we'll draw a circle. I'm writing one, two. You join this three, four. Remember the longest diagonal will remain same. One to M, draw R. Two to M, draw R. Then three to M, and four to M. So this way we got the smaller circle. So this way we got the smaller one. Now to draw depth, you take this point 2 behind by 12 mm, that is 2 dash, again take this radius, go behind by 12 and draw R. We will follow the same procedure, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I hope all of you understood this sum. This is copying isometric. Thank you.